Hey guys, this is Ricardo and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. So for today guys, I'm going to answer the question, is your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus a fake? And basically, there is a chance it could be a fake. So I'm going to show you basically what to look out for in order to figure out if your device is a fake or not. So stay tuned. Okay, let's start with the box. First of all, with the original Samsung Galaxy S8, it should come in a box that looks just like this. It should say on the front S8 or S8 Plus. It should say Samsung Galaxy S8 there in the corner. And of course, over here, it should identify the capacity, which is usually 64 gigabytes. Now, on this side, I don't want to show it. You should have some serial number and some barcodes. Also, on this side, you should have serial codes or serial code and barcodes as well. You should also identify the device, the IMEI serial number and so on on these sites. There should be a barcode um, scanner or barcode right around here for you to scan. All right. And of course this side is blank. On the back of the device right here, it should indicate the specifications. Now for different regions you might have a difference in language. So do not worry this is for the international galaxy s8 so things might be slightly different but it should um, lay out the basic specifications as shown here you can always pause and look at this information all right inside of the box you should have all the regular accessories which includes sim ejector tool pamphlets also you should have a wall adapter brick you should also get a pair of akg or AKG earphones in black right and of course USB cable and all that now also you want to make sure that um, everything is there and they're in black or the color black all right that's the first key thing to look out for if you want to see what's inside the box in detail I put a link right here you can actually see the full unboxing you can look at all the accessories and so on next up the Samsung Galaxy S8 actually uses a new type of USB and it is not micro USB, it's actually USB type um, C. I'll give you a close up. The new um, charger looks like this or the new data cable look like this. Notice the shape, alright? Alright, so the fakes will have micro USB as you're seeing here. Notice the shape versus the original S8 will have um, USB type C. So this is USB type C. This is micro USB. So this is the one that the S8 uses. This is for the fake, all right? And older devices use these as well, all right? So that's the first thing. So here we have the Galaxy S8. Now notice the charge port, all right? So this is a USB Type-C charge port. Notice the mechanisms at the center, all right? For the fake, it will not be like this, and it will have a micro USB Type charge port that actually accept that i'll actually put on screen right now what both um what both look like side by side what the original which is the s8 versus the fake or what the fake port might look like all right next the samsung galaxy s8 actually has a very fast boot time so time i'm just going to start right now and look how fast it will actually boot up all right so this is due to the very um, powerful internals we are talking about the octa core or eight core processor it has plenty of um, memory or ram and of course there's 64 gigabytes of internal storage which means it should boot up quite fast and as you can see it's already boot up in just a few seconds and ready to go the fake will take a very long time to boot up which is a definite red flag so you're gonna watch out for very slow boot up times back at the device but although it is the back and it has on a case you can still notice notice the placement of the fingerprint sensor the camera and of course the heart rate sensor and led flash and notice their design and of course how they sit flush for fakes you'll notice that this might be offset meaning they might place the camera over to the side or you might have multiple cameras but once it's not in the center as seen here and look just as you see it here then definitely that's a warning that what you are looking at is actually a fake device 
Next, when you look at the side of the device, you'll notice we have the volume up and down button. But basically, um, it should be one solid button. But because this is a case, they basically separated them. But this should be one narrow strip for volume up and down at either end. Although that is not the thing to look out for. What you want to look out for that directly beneath the um, volume button, there is what we call the Bixby button. And when you press this button, it should launch Bixby or the digital assistant for um, Samsung. And I'll show you that in a second. And here we go. And here we go. And I haven't set this up as yet, but as you can see, Bixby should launch. And as you've seen, it asks me for internet connection and so on. But it should launch Bixby. Let's also look back at the back of the device. When you have a fake, what's going to happen here is that the fingerprint sensor is actually fake. In fact, all of the sensors will be fake, but you can start with the fingerprint sensor. Go ahead and set up the fingerprint sensor. You're going to use a single finger, for example, this one. And what you're going to do is once it claims that it has been set up, you're going to lock the device. Then you're going to use this finger and try to unlock. If it unlocks, next you're going to lock again and then you're going to try a random finger to see if it will unlock it. The fakes only pretend that the sensor is working and of course any finger will unlock the device. So you're going to watch out for that. Next, the Samsung Galaxy S8 actually has a iris scanner and a face recognition scanner. So what you're going to do is you're going to set up both features. And if, of course, they are not working right out of the box, then that's a clear indication that what you're looking at could be a fake. Um, they might pretend like they're working. So again, you can try different things, such as trying to fake out the scanner, such as trying another face or something like that, in case are uh, scanning another iris other than yours to see if it will unlock, as they might try to fake the effects of the iris scanner. But it should be very difficult. Next is the weight. The Samsung Galaxy S8 is actually very light. It should not feel that heavy in the hand. So if you're feeling your device and it feels very dense and very heavy, then therefore, again, it will be a fake. Also look at the dimensions. It's very thin. And when in your hand, it should feel like one solid piece of glass and metal, basically due to the curvature of the back and the front. Pictures taken with the Samsung Galaxy S8 are super sharp, as you can see here. A lot of detail, and it goes, it's very beautiful. And as we're speaking about that, as we're speaking about that, one of the things you gotta notice about this screen is that this is a super AMOLED screen. It's very high resolution. You should not be seeing any pixels on the fakes. What they have is a LCD display. So the LCD display is of an inferior quality. So please watch out for pixels or pixelation low picture quality. Also, the camera should be less than um, 12 megapixels. So therefore, the interface should look like this and um, should not look different. I'll show you the settings. Settings should look just like this. You can always pause. These are the features in camera. The pictures, as I showed you a while ago, should be very, very high resolution due to the sensitivity of the sensor that allows extra light in. And also it has that dual pixel feature. Next you want to go into settings. Once you're in settings, you're going to go to about device or about um, phone. Once in about phone, you're just going to look at the software information on the phone. The device should come with Android 7.0 or higher. If it says Android 6.0 or lower, then you have a fake. But also you cannot trust the information that's seen here as they might fake the information. And you should also check your storage space or your storage capacity to make sure it's 64 gigabytes. But of course, they can also fake that, but you can just go ahead and check on the storage. Also, the menu interface should be similar to what you're seeing here. Next, you're going to download Antutu Benchmark as seen here. You're going to install, you're then you're going to check the specs or the specifications of your device. Once you check the specification of your device, next you're going to take the um, device model number, which is on the back of the device. You're going to Google what are the specifications that your device should have. And of course, you're going to cross-reference it or cross-reference what you're seeing with what the app says is in the device. You should have similar specs. And of course, if it's off, it means that most likely what you have is a fake. 
as we're about to wrap up but just a quick note here just notice i'm on instagram here and notice how beautiful the screen is notice how the colors pop and everything looks super sharp and detailed the fake is unable to reproduce this also you'll notice the curves at the side most fakes are unable to reproduce the curves you should have a curve it is slightly different from older devices it's not as curved but it's still curved all right so watch out for that as well finally guys you can download um samsung smart switch to your pc connect the device as i'm about to show you on screen once you do that guys it should identify your device if it's not a samsung device it will not come up in keys or will not be identified all right and that is a clear indication again that your device is fake finally guys if you're going to buy a device online make sure that you buy from a reputable um, seller for example if you go on ebay only buy from top rated sellers if you're buying from amazon it's safer because all of the sellers are kept up to amazon's standards all right so and a uh, rule of thumb is that if you're buying it in a store make sure that you're able to manipulate and actually power on the device and actually look at the device there's also apps in the app store that you can actually use to test all right that you can use to test and these basically look at the hardware and of course they you can compare them as i showed you with antutu benchmark um, you might have to wait a while for one that will automatically test but you can always do a search to see if there's any there also remember if you are getting a deal if the deal is too good to be true for example if the samsung galaxy s8 is being sold for say 700 dollars or so and somebody's offering you for 300 dollars outside of a carrier that's kind of fishy so always be skeptical and also use your common sense when it comes to these things it's not hard to spot a fake all you gotta do guys is just be vigilant and be on your toes so this recorded from Block tech tips with a bunch of tips on how to spot a clone or a fake samsung galaxy s8 um, luckily mine is um, original device so i have no issues so i know i have gotten a solid device that works um, great i'll done a few bugs but otherwise this works great all right guys recorded from Block tech tips remember to leave a comment below and you can also ask your questions regardless saying bye until next time bye